This is video number three for chapter one. So this one covers subtracting integers. It goes with section 1.3 in your book, which is in pages 14 through 19. Make sure you fill that part in on your note sheet as well. So the target for this section is I can write and solve expressions involving subtraction of integers with and without a number line. So most of these notes we're going to do together in your packet. So I'm going to switch over to the camera. Okay, so you have the uh, target and the box filled in. Let's start here with our notes. So when we subtract integers, we can always just add the opposite. And we will look at lots of examples to see what that looks like. But instead of subtracting, we're going to change it to addition. And then whatever the second number is, we're going to add the opposite of what that was. So there's four cases. We're going to do examples of all the different types you could see. The first case is a positive minus a negative. That answer is always positive. So it would look like this. Six and then I'm subtracting a negative 2. 6 minus negative 2. Well, if I change it to add and the opposite of negative 2, I'm doing 6 plus 2. That will make 8. Positive answer. And 4 minus negative 7. Well, add and the opposite of negative 7. Add positive 7, and I get 11. So when you add the opposite, it gives you a positive plus a plus, <laughs> positive plus a positive which is just a bigger positive answer. So here's some examples. 3 minus negative 5 is just 3 plus 5, which would be 8. Or 7 minus negative 9, 7 plus 9, and that is 16. 8 minus negative 6, 8 plus 6. And 4 minus negative 10, 4 plus 10, 14. So pause it here. I want you to rewrite it first, just like you saw me do here. Change it to add the opposite, and then find the answer. So pause, and then we'll check. Okay, so for each of these, I changed it to adding, and then the opposite. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 5 plus 11 is 16. 7 plus positive 4 is 11. And 6 plus positive 9 is 15. So that's one type you might see. The next type, case two, a negative minus a positive. So those answers are always negative. And let's see why. So this is what it would look like. I have a negative and I'm subtracting from it. So if I add the opposite, I have a negative plus another negative, I get a bigger negative answer. Negative three minus eight. I'm at negative three. I'm putting eight more negatives with it. Those combine to make 11 negatives. So when you add the opposite in this case, you're going to be adding a negative, and negatives plus more negatives will combine to make a bigger negative. So um, it shows us here that negative 4 minus 9 could be written as negative 4 plus negative 9. That's going to combine to make 13 negatives. Or negative 5, or sorry, negative 11 minus 5 could be written as negative 5, add the opposite, add negative 5. Those are going to combine to make 16 negatives. Okay, I'll do a few and then you try a few. Negative 6 minus 5, that could be written as negative 6, add the opposite. Negatives and negatives combine to make bigger negatives. Negative 7 and negative 5, negative 7. Well, it's negative 7 minus 5, but I could say negative 7 plus negative 5. Two negatives combine to make a bigger negative. Negative 5 and minus 10. I'm already at negative 5, taking 10 more away. Negative 5 and negative 10 combine to make negative 15. And then negative 14 minus 9. Negative 14 and add the opposite, negative 9. Combine to make a bigger negative, negative 23. So take a second to rewrite it as add the opposite, and then find the answer. Pause and try these next four. Okay, let's go over them. So instead of subtracting 10, I'm going to add the opposite, add negative 10. And two negatives combine to make a bigger negative. Instead of minus 7, I'm going to say add negative 7. Two negatives combine to make a bigger negative. 
instead of negative, or sorry, instead of minus 8 or subtract 8, I'm going to say add negative 8. And two negatives combine to make a bigger negative. And then instead of minus 5, I have plus negative 5, and that would make negative 18. All right, so that's case 1 and case 2. Let's turn the page. Case 3. For case 3, if we have a positive minus a positive, so here's examples, 4 minus 2, 6 minus 9, 8 minus 5, that answer is going to depend. So we're going to say it depends, and it depends on which number is larger. Right? It's going to depend on if I start with more or if I'm taking away more. If I start with a bigger number or I'm taking away the bigger number. So let's look at these examples. 4 minus 2. I have 4. I take 2 away. I still have 2 left. The first number was bigger, so I still have something remaining. If I start with 6 and I take 9 away, well, I can change that. Again, we're still going to use add the opposite. So 6 plus negative 9. The negative is bigger. I end up with a negative answer. 8 minus 5. Well, add the opposite. 8 plus negative 5. Remember, the rule here, when you put a positive and a negative combined together, you look at the sign of the larger number. So I have more positives. My answer is going to be positive. Here, 5 minus 8. Well, add the opposite. And my negative is larger, so I'm going to have a negative answer. So add the opposite. When we do it in this case, it gives us an addition problem with one positive, one negative. So we subtract to get the answer and keep the sign of whichever was bigger. Okay, let's rewrite these using add the opposite. So 9 minus 7, 9 plus negative 7. Now I'm adding a positive and a negative together, but the positive is bigger and it's bigger by 2. 9 plus negative 11. Adding a positive and a negative, but the negative is bigger. It's bigger by, the negative is bigger by 2, negative 2. 5 minus 10 can be written as 5 plus negative 10. I'm adding a positive and a negative. Subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number. I have negative 5 for an answer. 5 plus negative 2, add the opposite. I'm adding a positive and a negative. The positive is bigger, so now my answer is going to be positive. I subtract the numbers in my head and I get 3, and the answer is positive. Okay, so try the next four. Rewrite it as add the opposite. So all of these, like instead of minus 7, will be add negative 7. Rewrite them all and then find the answers. So pause and try them. Okay, for the first one, I rewrote it as 4 plus negative 7. Subtract the numbers to get 3. The negative 7 is bigger, so negative 3. 3 plus negative 12 here. Subtract the numbers to get 9. And the negative is bigger, so my answer is negative 9. 15 plus negative 9. Subtract the numbers to get 6. The positive one is bigger, so positive 6 is what you'd have left over. And 10 plus negative 2, so subtract the numbers to get 8. And the positive was bigger, it's positive 8. Okay, the last type of problem you might see is a negative minus a negative. Again, that one's going to depend. And it depends on which one's bigger again. So let's look at a couple examples. Always keep using add the opposite. So negative 4 minus negative 2. But if I add the opposite, I get negative 4, or sorry, negative 2 plus 4. I'm adding a positive and a negative, but the positive's bigger, so I get a positive answer. Negative 3 minus negative 7, but change it to add the opposite. Negative 3 and 7, the positive's bigger. This is a typo. <laughs> the positive is bigger, so I should get. 4. And negative 5 minus negative 2. Rewrite it as add the opposite, a negative 5 and a negative 2. The negative is bigger, so my answer is negative. So again, in this case, when we add the opposite, it's going to give us an addition problem. 
where we have one negative and one positive. So that answer depends on whichever one is bigger. We're going to subtract to get the number and keep the sign of the bigger, whichever one was bigger. So here's, we'll do a few more together. If I have negative 9 minus negative 5, I can rewrite that as negative 9 plus positive 5. Now I have a negative and a positive. Subtract to get 4. Keep the sign of whichever one was bigger. In that case, it was the negative 9, so negative 4. Negative 10 minus negative 3. Negative 10 plus positive 3 when I add the opposite. So a negative 10 and a positive 3. Subtract them to get 7. The negative is bigger, so a negative answer. Negative 6 minus negative 9. Change it to add the opposite. Negative 6 plus 9. I've got one negative, one positive. Subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. Keep the sign of the larger number. The 9 was bigger. And negative 7 minus negative 10. Rewrite it as add positive 10. Add the opposite. So I have a negative 7, positive 10. I'm going to subtract. Keep the sign of the one that was larger. The 10 was bigger, so positive 3. So you try the next four. Take a minute to actually rewrite them with add the opposite, then think it through, find your answer. Pause it, and then we'll check and go over them. Okay, in the first one, I rewrote it, negative 11 plus positive 6. A negative and a positive, subtract them to get the 5, and the negative was bigger, so I still have a negative answer. Negative 15 plus positive 4, a negative and a positive, but... Uh, so subtract them to get 11. The negative was bigger, so I have a negative answer still. Negative 2 plus positive 8. A negative and a positive, but this time the positive is bigger, so I get a positive answer. And negative 5 plus 14. Subtract them to get 9, and the positive is bigger, so positive answer. So this summarizes subtracting integers. I know it seems like a lot of rules and a lot of tricky different cases. We'll do lots of practice, but now at least you have this filled in to help you.